Question. Do you become happy by trying to get the things you want? Beanie was working hard to find out what kind of alien he was. Norian. Beanie, they're all fictional, you know, made up. But he sure wasn't getting any happier with it. Maybe I'm not real either. Maybe a writer just made me up. I'm an alien and I don't exist. Mr. Dorsey may have stumbled on the key to his intergalactic quest. A-H, Mr. Dorsey, is H-A in reverse. But it wasn't exactly making him cheerful. A-H, H-A, aha. Uh -huh. And Antonia thought she had won him over by discovering it. Trouble was, she also discovered he was an alien. Ah! Ah! You are a nosy girl was made a very big mistake. But me? I was happy. Right. I had gotten over my stupid jealousy and made up with Octavia. On the inside, you're very handsome. Foxy, even. Say it again. Don't push it, child. But as soon as one rite of passage was cleared, we faced another, the school prom. As a child prodigy who graduated aged 11, maybe she was above all that kind of stuff. So would she want to go? Of course I want to go. It'll be great. You mean that? Sure. My parents wouldn't let me go last time. They said things happened at proms. Well, yeah, I mean, things you know, do happen. <laughs> Giles? No, no, I mean, not that we would or, <clears throat> or anything. I mean I, I mean, I mean, I wouldn't ask you to slow folk dance with me, unless, of course, you're at, you know, absolutely, po positively sure. And you know, what's the big deal of proms and stuff? I mean, not that I don't think it's cool or anything. I mean, I reckon they're, you know, fantastic, really. Shut up, Giles. And there we were, with not a cloud on the horizon, until... Ew, Tonso City, yuck! Do you guys know how many other people you kiss when you do that? What do you want, Sophie? I want you to sign my petition against the school prom. It's a seething mess of immorality. No way. Get out of here. I bet you two don't even get to 10 o'clock before you're all over each other like a rash. Ugh. Oh, that bad, huh? Well, she's here now, so I'll have a word. No one will sign my petition. Never mind that. We have a problem. The ratings are down. They're threatening to cancel the show. No! Yes, so you need to get out there and find some new ideas. But this time, no potato chips, no identity crises, and no aliens. But what would I do without my show? Double glazing commercials. Now get out there and find a story. And remember, no aliens. Go to now and effect. No command. Are you receiving? Generals Yen, Generals Haj, I've been trying to get through for days. What is happening? We have been infiltrated. Had to move to a new sector. Ah, generals! Generals! Can you hear me? I have reason to believe that the letters H and A are very significant in our quest. An H and an A will show you the way. Hmm? What is the rest of the writing? It is a prophecy for the destruction of the planet Earth. I don't think it's important. You must find the objects represented by the symbols. Find it, and you will have the key to the portal. But you must hurry. You have 17 states left at the very most. After that... 
What? After that? What, General? Seventeen snipes. Did you hear that? No! Oh! oh. What is that symbol? A.H. Atlantis High. I'm sorry, I'm looking for something entirely different. What you two do when you're alone together. Mm. Oh, Antonia, how could you sink so low? Mm. Okay, okay. Either you come on the show and expose him, or we make out that you started the whole thing in order to blackmail him. Deal? Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, I'm all ears. He dumped me! After everything I did for him, and he dumped me like I was some sort of piece of trash. How could he do that to me? Oh, this is great. A weird couple bust up. Great TV. But Sophie, there's something else. Yeah? Something scary. He's an alien. He's a what? Some sort of lizardy creature and and he's looking for something that could destroy us all. You moron! You had to get involved with the one type of weirdo that I can't do a story on. I'm out of here. No, Sophie, please, please don't go. Um, there is something else that I heard them say. What? Jeez, I can't remember. No, um, I remember the end of the world. And it's on this document here. Sponsorship upside is phenomenal on this one, Sophie. Everyone will want to spend a fortune on all the things they always wanted but never had time for. It's just the boost the economy needs right now. You know, I don't see how this can be a prophecy. Okay. There's a pair in an illicit relationship and they shouldn't be together. Hmm? And the world will be destroyed unless they split up. End of story. <clears throat> but what about the frogs? We don't mention them. Uh, we, we leave it nice and vague so that when the world doesn't end, we can reinterpret it and do it all again. <laughs> so all we need is a boy and a girl and we're in business. Any thoughts? We need someone local so we can harass them at low cost. You got any recommendations, Sophie? Hmm? Uh, yeah. I think I know the ideal couple. First they filled the plates with rocks, then it was cheeseburgers, then always locked himself in the bathroom. Why? He thinks he might have evolved from rocks that hit Earth from out of space. And the cheeseburgers? He's checking out all avenues. Giles, Beanie thinks he could be related to that. Oh no, I'll eat them all. Well, if you're sure that's okay. Hey, what's this? And the prophecy states quite clearly that if this boy and this girl don't stop seeing each other, the world will come to an end next Tuesday at 3 o'clock. And are you in a position to reveal to us now the identity of this forbidden couple? Yes, Lou, I am. They are Giles Gordon and Octavia Vermont. What? And is it true, Sophie, that everyone should be on the lookout for strange occurrences which indicate that the end of the world is indeed approaching? Mm, absolutely, Lou. The longer these two scumbags are together, the weirder it'll get. What the heck is that? Well, I'm gonna get down to that TV station and give them a piece of my mind. Me too. Jack, will you be okay here with Beanie? 
Yeah, sure. Let's go. What is this? So, how does it feel to sacrifice the world for your own selfish lust? Get out of here, Sophie. This is unwarranted intrusion. Uh, typical. You don't even care if the rest of us live or die. The prophecy's rubbish, and you know it. Where's the proof? The prophecy is the proof. That plus the fact that you and all your friends are weirdos. That's a lie. We are perfectly normal, well-adjusted people. Yeah, we're not weird at all. <coughs> Where'd she go? <coughs> Who are they? Beanie, what are you doing? I thought that maybe I was evolved from mud. Do you think that's possible? Well, Sophie, that sure seemed weird enough to me. An early portent of doom, maybe. Hmm, most definitely, Lou. Thanks. Maybe yeah, that, was, that was a lot of help. But I guess you want a bigger screen to watch the end of the world, huh? I'm looking for a slightly different shape. Oh, yeah. How come they don't make them another shape? Where's all the trapeze? Attention, panic buyers. All the remaining food stocks have been stolen by a well known master. I think the commander's memory's coming back. It can't be long till he finds out. If Silver Lion is in the storm. Dorothy, too. I can't do nothing about it. Please know that the perpetrator is the moon. Headed east on Main Street. And that's it? Hmm. Look, if they find out the truth, they just gotta live with it. Hmm. Maybe you're right. I mean, it's not the end of the world or anything. It is. Excuse me, sir. Um, um, the symbol on your shirt, what does it stand for? What? The H.A. What does it stand for? Hortense Abraham. Hortense Abraham? That's the name. Don't wear it out. <gasps> no. It's no good. We can't keep on going on like this. Are you mad? This is just the beginning. Do you think about what I said? About coming to the dark side? No, I mustn't. But you're nearly there already. Just one more little step and I'll be yours forever. It's wrong and immoral. Yes? It's a betrayal of everyone that's ever put their trust in me. Yes? It's a negation of every decent value I've ever fought for and believed in. Oh, what do I have to do? Have you ever heard of those life forms that can eat anything at all? I think I may be one of them. Beanie, this has to stop. You're driving me crazy, and you're making things really difficult on our friends. Look, I know it wasn't your fault that the news crew was there, but it's getting really out of hand. You have got to get a grip on yourself. Maybe I ended up here because we ate our home planet. Maybe we all ate each other until I was the last one left. But. If that's true, then I'll never find out where I came from. Maybe I should try the rocks again. What do you think? Sure. But you'll have to try it on your own. I'm sorry, Beanie. I'm leaving. Stop Joe Stop Joe Coyle! I mean, doesn't anyone say that this is just for money? This is Octavia. Put me through now. 
And guess what, folks? We've got Octavia herself on the line. Let's hope she's calling to say she's dumped Giles. No, I have not. This whole thing's a scam, and you know it. Wow. What are you making at, Sophie? She's in denial. Just what I expected. Listen, you fake. If you really have the power of prophecy, let's see you predict something before it happens. See, you can't. Why don't you admit it? I got one, I got one. You are about to get cut off. Hello? Hello? Ooh. Hey, that was amazing. Thanks, Lou. Did I mention that calls cost $10 a second? Now what? I thought that when two people get married, it means that they stay together. I know. And I thought that if we got married, it would make you happy. But it hasn't. Well, when I find out who I am, I'll be happy. When's that gonna be? Face it, Beanie, it's never gonna happen. Well, I thought that if I projected my picture into space, then somebody might recognize me. Maybe my mom and dad, even. What do you think? I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Come on, it's easy. Man, what, suppose they catch me or stop my allowance or make me stand in the corner? No, no, I can't. No dark side, no reward. And you do want your reward, don't you? Then take the potato and stick it in the exhaust. Or you'll never see me again. Not one TV station is prepared to ruin the story by listening to the facts. What kind of society are we living in here? Okay, look, okay, look, okay, maybe we, we need to get away for a few days, you know, just wait until the whole thing blows over. No way. If we don't stand up to these clowns now, There'll be no stopping them ever again. But what can we do? I mean, they're like a pack of wild animals. Exactly. So why don't we give them a little of what they want? Maneuvers tomorrow, 1100 hours, men. Dismiss. <laughs> Announcement. This is our proposal. If and only if we can see this so called prophecy and put it to public scrutiny, we will accept the vote of the people on whether we split up or stay together. This is our final and only offer. not happening. There is no need to panic. And there are no strange signs to suggest that things are other than normal. Thank you. A big potato! From heaven! It's a sign! <sighs> Who's that? Me. You? Yeah. Who? Open the closet door. Well, suppose I eliminate you. Suppose you don't. Let me out of here. I couldn't help it. I had to have you see me in it again. Stay away from me. I want you to take me to the prom in it. Yes! You 
He's become this other person I don't even recognize anymore. He barely even speaks to me. It's, it's almost as if he, he doesn't care whether I'm there or not. Uh-huh. And you know, when I first met him, he was that the sweet guy who, who just lit up my life every day. He was the only guy I'd ever liked, and I couldn't believe I was so happy. Uh -huh. But now it's like he's gone, and I don't think I'm ever going to see him again. He was everything to me, and now I've lost him. <laughs> somebody if they're already there because if someone thinks so much about where they came from so much that they stop being who they are then it's really like they're not around does that make sense I guess so so if you came back and I stopped thinking about it so I was there again would that make sense too Just as Beanie and Jet's relationship was on the mend again, ours hung in the balance. But Octavia was magnificent. Nothing could stand in her way as she ripped the whole media circus apart and tore Sophie to shreds. I had never felt more proud to be by her side. You lied about events which have a logical explanation. You played on the gullibility of ordinary people to fleece them of their money. You even created so much panic buying that now there's no food left in the shops. Yeah. And what was it all based on? Get me out of here. I'll tell you. No way. They're calling up in their millions. It was based on this. Two figures, which could be anybody. And what else do we have here? Frogs falling out of the sky. Funnily enough, Sophie never mentioned those because she knew it would never happen. Is that right? It's all his fault. He made me do it, otherwise he was gonna take my show off the air. Yeah, and you went along with it. I hate you. Oh, I hate you all. And I wish that the world would end so that none of you would survive. Eight million. Sensational. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Remember this the next time someone tries to con you. Prophecies only work because people choose to believe them. Look for the truth. Everything else is superstition. Thank you. Yeah. 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 Yeah.